Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the 2HP Loop. So first things first, I have to thank 2HP for making Loop available to me to make this video. Uh, but as always, they've had no say into this video whatsoever. Uh, but then again, thanks a million 2HP. I love this thing. This is a great little looper and I can't wait to show everyone uh, what a great device this is because it's a fully featured looper and it has everything you've ever dreamt of. So I would say, hope you're sitting down because um, here we go. So there you have it, 2 HP of loopiness. So it might be <laughs> it might be lost in an overall rack, but it's just 2 HP wide and it brings all these great features to the table. Um, so quick run through of what you have. It's you've got your inputs. So I'll be patching in a well, a nice sequence from uh, from Hermit uh, that is going through plats. Uh, which is then going to go into the 2HP loop. Uh, what you can then also do is you can actually patch the record function. So instead of just pressing the button and stopping it whenever you want, you can also do that based on triggers and gates. And then you've got your record button, which is of course going to record. And depending on the mode in which you run, you can do that. Um, you've got your modes here. So you've got your sound on sound. Uh, which actually means so it's it, you can just keep on recording on top of each other as much as you want. Um, you've got blue, which is for dub. So then it actually starts recording when the uh, buffer is at its uh, at the start, and it then just records once throughout that loop, and then it just stops recording. And then you've got your replace, which actually just overwrites anything that you have in your buffer while you're recording which is teal or light blue, depending on how you look at it. And then you also have Flippertronics, which is purple or, well, maybe it's a, a sort of pink. Don't depend on me to describe colors. <laughs> I do hope you guys can see the uh, the colors uh, well enough on the, uh, on the recording. Um, but otherwise, so you've got your green for sound on sound, dark blue or well, royal blue for dub, teal, light blue for replace, and you've got your purple for your Frippertronics. And Frippertronics are probably one of the most interesting ones uh, because that will just keep on looping and you can it's going to decay every time you play it. So if you just record, push the, put this on record and it just keeps on adding layer after layer and then layer after layer will eventually fade out. So you get something that is, well, reminiscing of a, of a tape loop. Okay, so then you've got your shift. So you can use shift to uh, play with your uh, play modes. So whether it's um, half speed, normal speed, if you're uh, doing it in reverse or forward, you can then have your mix between only the input to only the well the, to the buffer the loop itself or in the middle where you're going to play both of them and you've got your input level there as well so you can attenuate that i tend to just keep it at uh, full strength and then of course you've got your output as well so let's connect that too and let's listen to where we are i'm going to switch back to sound on the sound and that's the default I'm just going to press play here on my sequence. I've chosen a slower sequence than normal, uh, specifically to get the, the actual nuances from the loop out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to press record and then stop in it and you're gonna start hearing the actual loop happening there as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna hold shift and record for two seconds and it's gonna clear the buffer. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, a gate from Pam's new workout and I'm gonna use that to record a full length of the actual sequence. So there you go.
and now we have a full sequence loaded there and as you can hear it's perfectly in sync so if we then turn it around I can just do it like this hold down shift and mode and now it's going backwards which is of course a great sound it immediately brings something mysterious to your uh, to your patch and I love how you can do that so let's switch back to forward and you can also do it half speed of course the fun thing is of course that while it's running at half speed nothing is stopping you from just grabbing another recording at half speed and if you then turn it into normal speed it's of course twice as fast as it should be so now it's playing at the speed that you have and there you go double speed let's clear this let's go to the dub let's just record something so now you've got something playing in your buffer and if you then want to overdub that I can just press record and as you saw there it just waited until the buffer was was done and then it started to record so if I press that again, there you go. You see the light first turning white and white saying, okay, I'm waiting for the, for the buffer to, uh, to, uh, to get to the end and then I'm gonna start my recording. Let's see that again. This time it took a bit longer and then it's just gonna record one full length of the buffer and then it's gonna stop recording automatically. There you go. And of course, it is layering sound upon sound upon sound. So let's switch to Teal, which is the replace one. So I'm just gonna record this. This is gonna override everything with my latest recording. actually not a bad loop there it's got a bit of swing to it and then last and certainly not least let's go to the Frippertronics and the recommendation here is just to keep it keep it running and let, let it just record over itself and then you'll start to hear the the recordings just fade away after a while after a couple of plays through and this is of course great if you combine it with some additional sound so I've got a I've got a bass drum there as well kick and I've got some hi-hats there And you can then, of course, add additional sounds to it. Let's uh, add something else to the mix. Let me just grab something from the corner there. There you go. Let's patch something through maths so you just can keep this looping as long as you want it's just great so I'm just adding 
Born out of the mix now. I just love how you can create soundscapes and then fill them up with additional sounds. Such a strong... Looping is something everyone needs in their Eurorack system. And I didn't know that at first, but this module really opened my eyes and really made sure that I understood what the value of looping is. And you can create so many great things with this. I love it. And it's just, it adds so much to your, to your palette, so to say, yeah. I'm just gonna play this for a while and then go back to the studio. For now, I would say thanks a mil and I'll uh, talk to you in a bit, cheers. So I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the 2HP loop and I hope you now understand why I've fallen in love with this thing even though I never thought I would need a looper anyway. So then again this, that's a great testament to what they've been able to achieve in just 2HP. It's a great thing and I can't recommend this thing enough. A um, couple of other topics I wanted to discuss. We've just hit the 600 subscriber threshold. And as mentioned, I expect to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of Q3. So that's before October. Uh, so everyone, I would love to ask everyone to like and subscribe and comment if you have any sort of questions or any feedback, because I'm still learning so much things every week again. So I, I can only grow based on your feedback and uh, the questions that you ask me. So please do so. If you don't want to leave a comment but still have a question, feel free to reach out to Jesper at themodularclubhouse.nl. I repeat, that's Jesper at themodularclubhouse.nl. For now, I would say everyone stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.